Hi, I'm your host, The Urban Astronomer. It's very rainy outside, so that means I can't do astrophotography. But what I can do is show you the equipment I use to take photographs like this. Well, to shoot images like the one you just saw, I used this Newton from Skywatch. This is a Newtonian reflector with a primary mirror of 254 millimeters, which can collect a lot of light. And I mean a lot of light. I'm not going to pick it up because it's very heavy. One of the advantages of a Newtonian reflector is that it can collect 100% of all of the incoming light, whereas a refractor telescope, which uses lenses, reflects a portion of the incoming light on the surface of the lens. An achromatic reflector also has a built-in blue light error, which you need extra lenses for to correct for this. These refractors are known as apochromatic refractors, but they are really expensive. So enough of that, I will start setting up now. First, we need the tripod. So now I'm going to put on the mount head. This also is very heavy. So here we have the tripod. It's made out of steel, so it's very sturdy. There's also this eyepiece holder, which I use to keep the tripod legs expanded all the way. Things badly. I just want you to focus, huh? Why does he have to focus it on? Why does he have to focus on? Is it fucked up? From this point on, I can mount the telescope to the mount head, but that would make the RA axis top heavy, and it's possible it could swing if I forgot to close the clutches. So I always put the counterweights on first. And now I can mount the telescope to the mount head. I always secure these as tight as possible because if these things are not secured all the way, the scope will fall out and cause things to break badly. So now all of the large parts are in place. To control the mount, I use this EQ Direct cable, which replaces the hand controller. I can simply connect everything to my computer using only one USB cable. All I have to do now is balance the right ascension axis, because the declination axis is already balanced because of the marks I put on the dovetail for quick assembly. Well, this is clearly not balanced. So now it won't move when I point it towards an object. And I can do this under 15 minutes, literally, that's it. So now I will connect the entire setup to my laptop. To do this, I use a program called EQMod, which allows communication to another program called Stellarium. Oh, I forgot to turn the mount on. Okay, so it's connected. So right now I'm starting up Stellarium. So Stellarium has finally started up. What I will do now is select a target for the telescope to slew to. Well, let me just turn off the atmosphere. So assuming the telescope is polar aligned, I will now select a target on Stellarium and order the telescope to slew in that direction.
ain't that cool. Which brings us to my next video, which is about photographing as much data as possible of Bode's galaxy in four days time. So if you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like and subscribe to me for more. Also check out my Instagram page, this is where it all started.